Right, son, I want you on the road as quick as you can. Right, straight through the Channel Tunnel, out the other side, turn left through Belgium, into Holland. And if you see any mountains with people standing on them in leather shorts yodelling, you've gone the wrong way. Got it? Well, he's got to get all that way and back in one day. No, he stays overnight in Holland, somewhere cheap, then he comes back tomorrow. I wish you told me that before. I could have taken Leanne with me. No, you couldn't, Jamie. This is business, not pleasure. And every euro you spend, I want a receipt. Otherwise, you stand the rest yourself. Got it? Oh, and uh, I won't be here tonight either, babe. You won't? Why, where are you going? I'm going to Glasgow. I've got that, what's it tonight? The old trade firm. I'm going up this afternoon. I'll be back tomorrow. But it's like he said about Leanne. If you told me sooner, I could have come with you. Yeah, and it's like I told him. No, you couldn't. It's business, babe, not pleasure. The two don't mix. That looks a safe. Right, sunshine. Get your bags packed, eh? Got a lot of miles in front of you. Elf. Holland? Yeah, that charmy order I was telling you about. When are you going to be back? Sometime tomorrow. Oh, great. I'll just get you your coffee. This is your lucky day. Oh, yeah? Why's that? Because I've sent Jamie to Holland for the night. All oh, right. And uh, do you know what fire he's got? Table six. What, he's in the calf? Yep. Well, he shouldn't be. He can't hear us, can he? Listen, what do you want? What I want is for you to say yes to another night in our favourite hotel. See, I'm supposed to be in Glasgow, so, like they say, the coast is clear. <sighs> yeah, I know, but listen... Listen, I can't talk now, well... I need to know now so I can book the room. You come on, Leanne, babe, please. Why not? Why not? Where do you want me to start? Well, it's got Jamie's on the other side of the channel. My alibi is absolutely watertight. Look, we'd be mad not to. Well, it'd be the last time if we do. Which makes it all the more important that we should. And that we make sure it's a night to remember. What? You mean dinner, innit? Definitely. Absolutely. The full works. So I'll book the room, can I? Yeah, go on then. Right, OK, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you a ring when I get to the room. Should be about seven-ish, OK? Yeah. Yeah, all right. I'll try. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Right. Look, can I ask you something? Can I stop you? Why do you bother coming in there if you're not going to talk to me? Why don't you wait till you go home and not talk to me there? You are puzzled, you know that. I'm fed up to back teeth of you, I know that. Oh, hey, Frankie, I'm just off to get my hair done, but Vera said she'd stop here till I get back, so you can manage, can't you? Try. Getting her hair done, is she? Leanne, yeah, says she's going out. What, tonight? Yeah. Who with? Well, that lad of yours, Jamie. Well, she actually said that she's going out tonight with Jamie. Yeah? Why? What's the matter? Nothing. With him. Well, do it. Let him have it. Both barrels. Oh, no, I always think women are common that shout. I like to be a bit more refined. Well, you shouldn't be. According to this article I've read, it does women good to express their emotions. You even live longer. Really? Yeah. You can read it for yourself. Bye. I'm off. Tra. Tra, love. Bye. Yeah, but will he live longer the more he shouts back? Not according to this article. It's the women that should be shouting, the men keeping quiet. Oh, hey, I like the sound of that. <laughs> Hiya, V. Uh, can I have a portion of lasagna to take out? Of course you can, love. Maria, darling, did you do the aunt's hair earlier on? Oh, yeah, but not for my choice. I was the only one free. But did she say it was for anything special? She said Jamie was taking her out somewhere. What, tonight? Yeah. And did she say where he was taking her? Um, somewhere in town, I think. I've been helping with the garden, so I invited him in for a call. I've done it. Done what? Been there and got back. Must have been the quickest visit to Glasgow ever. Got off a plane. Went straight round the trade fair, double quick time. Back on another plane and back here. So come on, what time are you going to be joining me? Well, I'm nearly ready. I just need to call a taxi. Brilliant. OK, well, it's uh, room 329, all right? 329? Right. See you soon. Yeah. Can't wait. I cannot wait. Do you know I've done that much work?
was good enough for you? It'll do for now, I suppose. Really? Well, what about this then, eh? Yours truly, bottle of champers. Everything your heart desires. Everything yours does, you mean? Oh, I'm starving. Can we get some room service? Don't you want to do some exercise? Work up an appetite. I've already got an appetite. It's yours that's going to have to wait. Hi, doll. I've got a problem. Yeah, well, don't forget. Love, I am in Glasgow, so if there's anything around the house, you know what I mean? It's not. Supposing... Yes? He was in an hotel and he needed to get everyone out of their rooms. And why would I want to do that, love? Never mind why. How would you do it? How would I do it? Well, let me think. How would I do it? I'd, uh... I'd probably set the fire alarm off. Brilliant. Yeah? I knew you'd have an idea. You've got that sort of mind. Oh, child, well, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> what, is it some sort of magazine competition? What this is? I've followed Leanne. Who's been telling everyone that she's going out with Jamie tonight. Only she can't be, can she? Because you sent him to Holland. So I followed her and she's come to this hotel in Manchester. Only I don't know what room she's in. So I can't do anything until I've flushed her and whoever she's with out into the open where I can see them. Yeah, but Frankie, come on, love. So thanks for the advice. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, Frankie, hang on. What? I didn't know you was being serious. Dead serious? Yes. But listen, love, you can't go doing stuff like that because uh, if you do... You'll get arrested and you'll end up in the nick. I don't care. I'm doing this for Jamie. Yeah, but there are other ways. I'll let you know what happens. Listen! Nothing the matter, is there? <coughs> oh, flipping egg. Fire alarm. You don't... Well, that was Frankie on the phone. Yeah, so? So it was her who set the fire alarm off. What? Yeah, she's downstairs in the foyer. She got the nose when Maria told her you were going out with Jamie and she's followed you here. Are you kidding? Believe it. Well, does she know that I'm with you? No, no, no. She thinks I'm in Glasgow, but she knows you're up to something, though. Oh, right. So she set the fire alarm off. Has she gone mental or what? Yeah, well... Well, what? It was me that told her to do it. I ain't a catwalk you going on, love. Oh, I love it the way it's me who gets chucked at lions. Yeah, well, that serves you right for telling Maria you were seeing Jamie. What did you do that for? Uh, well, well, at least you didn't tell Frankie to set the fire alarm off. I have told you I did that before I knew she was here. Yeah, well, you should just put two and two together, shouldn't you? And how was that then? Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on, let's not start arguing. Yeah, well, you started it. And anyway, what am I supposed to say when I get down there? Say what you like, love. Oh, right, say what I like, as long as you don't get a mention, eh, Danny boy? <laughs> It'll be your funeral as well if you don't get it right. <laughs> oh, can't you just phone her? Tell her to clear off before the police find out that she did it. Oh, brilliant. So she'll hear my voice with this alarm going off in the background. That is really clever, love. She'll have us both, then. Oh, well, I know, I know. We could use the fire escape, give it the slip that way. No, Leanne, that'll be exactly the same as staying in the room. No, 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 she needs to see you coming out of the hotel on your own with a good excuse. So get yourself down there, love, and think of one, right? Shoes. You mustn't take too much notice of Norwich. Chop on. Evening. Oh, Frankie, what are you doing here? I might ask you the same question. Oh, you're not here for the same as me, are you? And what would that be? This new club that they're opening? New club? Yeah, glass they're gonna call it. It's opening somewhere around the back of Dean's Gate. I just had an interview for a cocktail waitress. And why would they be interviewing here? Well, they've got the builders in the club. Do you know what? I'm well annoyed. I had my head on special, and this bloke upstairs was right perv, staring down the top all the time. There's no way I'm working for him. He kept this one quiet. Well, I didn't want to look stupid in case I didn't get it. People like Maria would have a right life. So, anyway, where's the fire? I don't know. All right, well, it's probably just a false alarm. So, why are you here? Uh, well, I was just passing, and um, I had the alarm. I thought I'd come in and see what was happening. All right, up anywhere nice. Yeah, I'm meeting an old school friend. Yeah, she's in Manchester for a couple of nights. Oh, what a coincidence seeing you here. Yeah. Wait a minute. Isn't Danny away tonight? Yeah, he's in Glasgow. 
It's true. I'm meeting an old girlfriend. Don't you believe me? I'm only joking. I'll walk round with you if you want. I'm in no rush. No, no, you're all right. Where are you meeting her? By the town hall. Oh, well, you don't want to be standing on your own, do you? I'll come here. I'll be fine. You sure? Yeah, yeah, you get back. All right, then. See you later. Bye. Oh, yeah. Um, have a nice night. Crack open that champagne, lover boy. Mission accomplished. <laughs> so... Frankie, I told you there'd be an explanation, didn't I? Danny, I feel awful. And all them lies I had to tell her. Exactly. You don't expect... Make her believe that load of old cobblers, do you? Hey, by the way, you didn't get caught for setting off the alarm, did you? Oh, no, no. Good. Well, maybe that'll teach you to trust her a bit more in the future. I won't be able to look her in the face tomorrow. Don't worry, she'll forget about it. Listen, um, I can't chat, babe, because I've got a bit of business to see to. You can tell me all about it when I get home, yeah? Do you forgive me? Of course I forgive you. Love you. And I love you too, darling, yeah, with all my heart. See you tomorrow. Bye, babe. You trooper. <laughs> Did she tell you the excuse that she gave me? <laughs> oh, no, I didn't know she still had it either. Oh, I won't worry. She didn't do it very well. <laughs> Unlike you, eh? Do you know what? I actually felt a little bit sorry for her. Yeah, well, there's nothing like a close shave to sharpen up the appetite, is there? What about the champagne? What about it? <laughs> Don't know, pay the asking price, fine. Fred will. Enjoy your breakfast. There you go. Bacon on. Ever get the feeling it's gonna be one of those days? It already is. Frank. Morning, doll. Yeah, like a log. What about you? No, oh, I told you. Don't be silly. You were just looking out for Jamie, that's all. No, don't be daft, Frank. I'd have done exactly the same thing. Oh, and why does that make you worry about me, eh? Oh, right. So, will you think I'd rather be here in some Scottish flea pit than at home with you, in bed? Especially when I miss out on the chance to wind you up over emptying an entire hotel for nothing. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I've got to go. Yeah, cos otherwise I'm going to miss my plane. I'll see you soon. Home soon. Ta, babe. What's your game? I'm taking these. No, no, no. Hang on a minute. Think about it. Janice goes into the bathroom, wants to borrow a bit of makeup, sees all the hotel goodies. Bing, light comes on. Oh, you don't miss a trick, do you? Well, you can't afford to, love, can you? So what did she want then? I'm missing you, is she? I, don't... I brought you a cup of tea in this morning. Oh. Bed not slept in. Does Jamie know he's stopping out all night while he's tiptoeing through the tulips? Uh, Betty, can I have a pint for Jan and I'll have an orange slider? Coming up, love. Is he rich? Is he sexy? Jan, I've already told you there is no bloke. Look, Liam, I spent too long with your dad. He could lie for Britain. I bet he's married. Actually, it's a woman. You are? Yeah, you remember Fat Charlotte from school? Oh, poor care. Yep, that's her. She's still big. We got slaughtered last night and I stayed at hers. All right. Oi, Fred. I've missed you so much. It was one night. I ain't as if you were sitting in on your own watching the telly either, was it? <laughs> Don't. I still feel stupid. And you know what's even more stupid? What? It started me worrying about you. Mm, you're right. That is stupid. Come on. I hate you staying away. Strange city, hotel bar, good-looking woman Frank. who smiles at you. Don't tell me it couldn't happen, Dan. Frankie, listen to me. Come on. Just cos this started out with you jumping to the wrong conclusion, don't mean to say you have to keep carrying on, does it? Hey, Do you know what was great about last night? It meant an extra phone call. See? I mean, you might have been doing something balmy, but I got to hear your voice, didn't I? Just when I was feeling lonely and I was missing you. Oh, were you? Too right I was, yeah. The closest I came to a woman was when one of the cabin crew bumped into me when we hit turbulence over Carlisle. Oh, I believe you. Yeah. I just needed you last night. Oh, hiya. 
Well, you two can't keep meeting like this, can you? Hey. <laughs> Frankie told me about the hotel last night, yeah. So, um, did you get the job? Nah, didn't want it. The guy, oh, you know the type, undresses you with his eyes and definitely married. Can we get you a drink? No, it's all right. Jace just texted me to say that he's back. Oh, I bet you're dying to see him. I hate Danny being away, even for one night. Well, tell Jamie we'll see him later. Oh, are you going to be here for a bit, then? Well, unless uh, Frankie fancies an early night. Danny! See you later, then. So the first guy off the ferry, he's lost his keys. And he's like, well, I've got to find him. You're just going to have to wait. But it's all these lorry drivers behind him. I mean, big blokes. They just picked up his car and dumped it. You should have seen his face. <laughs> so what have you been up to? Oh, you know. Something up? Just went for this job. Cocktail waitress thing. So? Well, you debated the idea, but it sounded good. Better than working at Rise. Anyway, the blokes that was doing the interview was a right perv all over me. And then, to top it all off, who do I bump into but Frankie, who, just cos I'm dressed up, clearly thinks that I'm up to something, which I wasn't. And then, if that wasn't bad enough, the fire alarm went off. So did uh, Pervy offer you the job, or did you tell him where to stick it? Well, neither. I just kept walking. Well, I'm sorry it didn't work out for you. Eh, uh, no, you're not. You ate it when I were at nights. Hey, whatever makes you happy, doll. I'll part up with it. Anyway. We could have had your nights off together and even more time during the day. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. Do you know what? I've missed you. You are the loveliest man. And I'm just realising how lucky I am. Oh, she doesn't do... Yes, we're, we are closed. Yeah, I know you're closed, Roy, but Jamie said to get here for 7 o'clock, so here I am. Uh, well, that doesn't sound right. Well, he said it was important, so are you going to let me in or what? Yes, you, you, had, you had better come in. It's freezing out there. It's supposed to be summer. Well, well, I can only assume that there's been some miscommunication which has resulted in me <laughs> get you... Get... It's all right, Roy, you can knock it on head now. Good job, though, mate. What, what have you done? It's our anniversary. It's what? It was a year ago today, when we first met. <laughs> Look, I wanted to make you smile, not turn on the waterworks. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. I know I could have taken you to the clock and wined you and dined you in style, but I thought this would be a bit more special and a bit more cheaper as it goes. Oh, Jay, I love it. I, I had no idea. Come on, sit down. Sorry. I didn't want this to upset you. I'm not upset. I'm... I'm happy. Well, here's a turnout for the books. I've never taken you as a softie. Yeah, well, don't make fun. All right, I'm sorry. How did you know it was our anniversary? Well, I had to run to Leeds today, and that's where we had our first date. No, you gave me a lift. I was fetching me stuff it wasn't a date. You're joking, aren't you? You and me alone in a transit, lunch at the travel lodge, you had a pasty, I had a pizza. Seemed like a date to me. Oi, I knew you were special, even then. Yeah? Yeah, and now look at us, celebrating our first anniversary. Do you know what? This is the nicest thing that anybody has ever done for me. Good. And it's just the beginning. I'm never going to stop being nice. Ah, the new served. Don't be hungry. Ah, for madam, uh, salted beef, seasonal vegetables wrapped in a pastry case, uh, otherwise known as a pasty. For sir... A blend of sun-dried tomatoes, mozzarella and basil on a crispy dough base in common parlance a pizza. Bon appetit. Do you know what, Jamie Bolton? You were the best thing that has ever happened to me. Yeah, but do you know what? If you play your cards right, I'll take you for a spin in the van later. <laughs> Can't believe we lost the house. Mm -hmm. This place. You gotta get off your brains and give us a hand. Sorry, babe. You know what it says in the old Bible? And on the seventh day, he put his feet up with the sports pages. Really? Well, maybe he's forgotten that on the fifth day, he invited his family over for dinner. Well, then I'll uninvite them. They won't mind. Well, I will. 
This place has been too quiet since Warren left. Nice to get the rest of the family together. Uh, sorry, Willie, we just popped in at the off licence. Oh, don't apologise, mm -hmm. Pen. This ain't corner shop rubbish, is it? Oi! We got our bottle from a corner shop. Yes, and when I want something to shake on my chips, I'll be grateful, thank you. <laughs> Danny! <laughs> I was only pulling. Oh, you can't have a laugh in your own front room. Yeah, come on, you. Lay it on, Yeah, yeah. Anyway, cheers, Unc. No problem. Right then, should we all go sit down? Let's have girl boy, girl boy, shall we? Yeah? As David Bowie once said. <laughs> I'll sit this end if I'm carving. Ooh. So, uh, what meat are we having? I don't know. I was talking about the gravy. <laughs> what was it, the atmosphere? It's chicken. I've done stuffing and all, but if he don't turn it in, I'll find another use for okay. it. Okay. Nice getting together like this, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I don't know about boy girl, boy girl, but uh, pity you couldn't bring legs, eh, mate? I um, I uh, I'll better go and see that chicken, and I? I don't want me uh, bird getting overheated. Yeah. Everything all right? Yeah, yeah. The chicken's great. Mm. <clears throat> Wine compliments at a treat. <laughs> Well, the amount you've nicked, it'll compliment polystyrene. I should have a chop up before it all goes, Unc. Oh, we should stop calling him that. Makes Mike feel a hundred years old. I'm sorry, mate. What should I call you? I bet you called me a lot of things lately. One or two. Yeah, still, it's all part of the old rough and tumble, isn't it, Si? Mm, I suppose. We're all family here. Mm. Of course, we have our ups and downs. Petty jealousies. In fact, something I've got to tell you, Leanne. Turn it in, Frank. Hey? No one wants to listen to half a bottle of pole. Just get on with it. I dog. need to say this. Leanne, the other night, you know, when we bumped into each other at the hotel, I, I'd followed you. I thought you was having an affair. I can't believe you did that. I thought Leanne was being paranoid. Oi! I'm not the paranoid one. I was there for a job. I knew you were spying on me. Hold up. I'm trying to apologise here. I thought as we were washing the family smalls, I'd get it off my chest. Yeah, well, some things are best kept to the old sea cup, love, eh? Let's just forget about it and get on with your dinner, babe, eh? No, I want to finish. I want to make it up to you, Leanne. I ain't giving you a fair crack. I supported Candice, and all she did was help drive me son away. I even let her live here. That's it. That is it. Why don't you come and live with us, Leanne? Move in with Jamie. No, I'm not. Another thing I didn't miss, by the way, English bar prices. Well, cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. So, uh, how is Warren? You did see him, didn't you? They call him Warren Aldo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his mates that he's taking a pee. Oh, I'm so proud. My baby boy. We've had this all the way on. Excuse me. Well, did you enjoy yourself slumming here while we're all slaving away on them machines? It's another thing I didn't miss. Blimey, that first wife of yours, she's an handful, isn't she? What are you talking about? Well, she's coming fact check. Oh, she had us in stitches, she did. <laughs> Told us an awful lot about you. What is she talking about? Is it a pig in next door's gap? Just come to get me and Jay a glass of water. Help yourself. I'm not sure I like the idea of you and Jamie in my bed. Well, you and Frankie in a posh hotel in Spain isn't exactly my idea of a turn on him. So you did think of me then? Well, for the first day or so. But I had Jamie to take my mind off things, so by day three I could barely remember your name. Uh, I should have told you I was going away. Or at least sent me a text message. I might live dangerously, Leanne, but I ain't that stupid. Anyway, maybe it was for the best. Give me a chance to think things through. Yeah. And me too, as it happens. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, what we've been doing ain't very nice, is it? No. No, it's not. Right. Best not let it happen again, then, had we? That's exactly what I decided. Great minds think alike, eh? See you in the morning, then. Night. Night. Still on for tonight? Yeah, I don't see why not. 
Appreciate the same Jamie off the phone for nothing, eh? It ain't a setup, you know. This is a genuine delivery, you know. No, I believe you. But I am good for like that. You're a bit early to see me off, aren't you? I haven't done the loading up yet. <laughs> Why not? You'll be late for the ferry. Not if you help me, I won't. Hey, don't put your back out umping them boxes. You might be needing it later. Anyway, what are you going to do until I get back? Well, I'll probably sit waiting by a window embroidering your name on a quilt. <laughs> Shame. We're going out. Otherwise, you could have come over to ours and we'd looked after you. We're going out? Yeah. I booked the table at the clock. I told you I was going to. Did you? Yeah. We've got to do something for your dad's birthday, haven't we? Poor old sod. Yeah, sad day. Talking to dads, I've just got to go and check on mine. See you later. I'll call you. Yeah. Fill up with it. Change of plan. So I gather. Yeah. Go and buy yourself something special, eh? My way of saying sorry. Sorry for what? Breaking the day after getting your dead dad's birthday. What's that? Got lucky with an arse. How much did you win? Hundred quid. <laughs> well, you don't sound too happy about it. What are you going to spend it on? What are you doing out tonight? Oh, I thought I might nip over at Rovers, sink a few beers, just for a change. I've got a better idea. Why don't I phone clock and see if they've got a table, eh? So, Dad. Lippy? Oh, evening. What are you two doing here? We're never out of here, us two. Treat it like his own kitchen, don't we? Oh, yeah, it's exactly the same. Except your feet don't stick to the floor in here. <laughs> Look at that. They got a better table than us. Yeah. How did that happen? Did you see their mugs? <laughs> Very nice to see you again, madam. Oh, thanks. Uh, can we have a bottle of your sparkly, thanks? Their faces looked a bit like yours, does now. How does he know you? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, I would, actually. That's why I'm asking you. I've got a secret life, haven't I? Huh. I've got the cat sicked up. Thought you were busy. Good. Not bad. Yours? <laughs> How can they afford it? Beats me, love. I just pay them, I don't tell them how to spend it, do I? I think of this as somewhere we go. Our place. Do you? Yeah, of course. Don't you? I suppose it is, yeah. <laughs> and the gin dim? Oh. Both of them. He was wearing a neck collar. He were off to try and sue him when I saw him. Oh, no. Do you know what? I wish I'd seen that. <laughs> I'd have joined in. It's him right where it hurts. Oh, you wouldn't. You don't hate me that. Well, it could fill in, you know, until somebody comes along that I really hate. <laughs> <sighs> right. Come on, then. What? Well, we've had a few beers now, so... Are you going to tell me how come you know your way around local posh restaurant? It's no big deal. We save up. Come here whenever we can. You and Jamie? Yeah. I only remember you coming the once. A great song and dance you met about that. You must have mentioned it 20 times. And here you are, being treated like Lady Mug, having your backside polished, and you've not said a word. Listen, I'm paying for your dinner and getting you Abaddon fancy wine. Yeah? Yeah, so drop it. Oh. Sorry I spoke. When are you seeing him again, then? Next time you go out. Oh, you are not. Not in my bed. Oh, I'm joking. Well, don't come crying to me when it all hits the fan. Oh, give it a rest. You won't be the first poor little girl to get her heart broke by a married man. Janice, I don't have some sad little fantasies that he's going to leave his wife for me. We're just having a laugh. Do I know him then or what? No. Yes, I do. Uh, no, you don't. Yes, I do. Is it somebody that comes in calf? 
It is, isn't it? Oh. Right. Well, I'm going to go through every single name until your face gives it away. Janice, go to work. Charlie Stubbs. <sighs> All right, then, that Mickey from Market. Ten pegs for a pound, love. He's always giving you glad I am. Him? He's as wide as he is tall. Bloke who delivers fish. Ah. <sighs> Right, all right, all right. You win, I give in. But if I tell you, you promise me faithfully you won't say a word to anyone, right? Cross my heart. It's Roy Cropper. Get <laughs> off! <laughs> Janice! Oh, Janice, leave oh, it. it him? Give it here. Oh, I said, I Janice, don't recognise that leave number. It. Give it here now. Do you think I should introduce myself? I said, leave it. Hello. Hello. Well, I recognise that voice. Yeah, but it's not really me that you want to talk to, is it? Oh, yeah, she's here. Mm, I'll pass her over, shall I? Hello. Oh, hi, Jamie. Janice? Oh, take no notice of her. Wait, no, no, sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm still here. Um... Yeah, I miss you too and all, babe. There you go. Listen, lady, I want a word with you. Hey, Janice, bet you didn't know I still had this. A chewed up piece of chudder. My lucky putty. Taken from the window of chalet number 36. <sighs> you are one sad individual. Lucky putty? Don't ask. I want to do an asking. Bucklins, Minard, 1965. The first meeting of the world's greatest rock gods. Rick Parfit. Francis Rossi. Get home. Me and Janice went there on a pilgrimage in 92. That's when I got this. No! <laughs> what is... oh. You heard Jamie's voice and your face lit up like a Christmas tree. So why the hell are you bothering with this other bloke? Oh, cos we're having a laugh now. Get over it. He's from round here, isn't Oh, he? Janice, not again. Because when I told you that I recognised his voice, you nearly keeled over. Oh, get a life, eh? Maybe if you had a bloke of your own. If I had a bloke of my own, I wouldn't treat him like you're treating Jamie. He is a decent lad. I thought that you two would settle down and have a couple of kids. That's not a cow just gave me a dirty look, then. You'd better not have done. Oh, hello, Lady Mark. Slumming it today, are you? Now you come to mention it, yeah. Do you mind, my lady wife? A little bit of respect won't go amiss. That clock restaurant, more money than cents. Paying over odds for little piddly portions. I tell you, you had to go to Chippy on way home. We go for quality, not quantity. Radishes carved out like flowers. For your information, they were being ironical. Yeah, well, I'm going to get some decent scram tonight. Chicken in a basket at Bingo. Mind you don't swallow the old basket, though, eh, Lippy? Huh. Imagine if Jamie marries her. We'd be related to that lot. It ain't pretty, love. I'll tell you that much. I've seen people with more integrity on Jerry Springer. I sat in the ways. That's never Jamie again, is it? Don't he ring you lot? Oh, it's really a tense blessing. Uh, don't think I'm skiving around, Mr Baldwin. There's a big jammy cream cake in there with your name on it. Good cup of tea, please, Lee, and uh, you know how I like it. Certainly do. And hurry up, eh, cos I don't pay you to stand around here bunnying all day. Don't fret. Which is a pity, cos you are world-class, love. I work faster with sugar in my veins. Yes, well, hurry up, factory now. Just saying what a lovely lad your Jamie is. Mm, got all to get up and go have a sloth. Very sensitive, kind, thoughtful. And with any luck, life will knock all that nonsense out of him, eh? Yeah, well, I'm just chuffed that I'll leave Spain. such a lovely lad. Thin on the ground round here. And who knows? In the fullness of time, if the wind's in the right direction, he might grow up to be more like his old man. <laughs> That's Dale, dump him. <laughs> Charlie, what's the matter with me? Hey, body like a Greek god. Gift of the gab. Twinkle in his eye. What woman could resist, eh? You're looking at two now. You're breaking me heart, Lippy. Oh, really? Yeah. Right, then, you can escort me back to the fire truck. Yeah. Uh, Danny, you have a seat. Thanks, mate. And uh, I'll pay for these and all, eh? Oh, really? Mm. Cheers, Mr. Baldwin, you're a star. That's me, Lippy. Generous to a fault, love. Ta-ra. Yeah. If you was a rock god. Hi, Lean. For sausage roll. What were you like today? Fabulous, just like I always am.
There's Janice, biggest gob in Weatherfield, standing half a metre away and you're making a date with her boss. Yeah, I know, classic. You? I think he spoke too soon. We're back on the streets in half an hour. It's not what you're thinking, Janice. Oh, no. No, I can explain. This'll be interesting. What is it, then? Hunt the thimble? No, no, I just, uh, well, I came out to tell Leanne how glad I am that she's making Jamie happy. And, uh, well, I was giving her a little cuddle and I, I just got a bit carried away. Oh, I'm sorry, Leanne, I don't know what come over me, love. You had me believing that for a minute. But it's true. And I'm the flying Dutchman. Tell her, Leanne. She knows I'm having an affair. And now I know who with. Don't I, Danny boy? Well, what did you tell her that for? I guessed. How? Yesterday at the clock. Well, them fancy waiters fussing round her, calling her by her first name. I knew it weren't Jamie that were taking her there. She guessed pretty well and all. How much money you got? How old you are? What it is you're after? I'm glad you find it amusing. Well, what do you want me to do? Stick me head in gas oven. There's nothing we can do about it now, is there? <laughs> this is not serious, OK? Oh, I know, I know. It's just a bit of fun on side. Yeah, she's taught me that and all. No, but I mean, if we can talk about it, then... What's to talk about, love? It's only sex, isn't it? And what Jamie doesn't know won't hurt him. I'll see you later. Well, well, well. You don't get jackpots like that at the bingo. <laughs> so, how long you been in this dance? Like father, like son, eh? What is it with his Baldwin jeans? You haven't been knocking Mike off and all, have you? Oh, give it a rest. Leanne, it's bad enough having an affair with another bloke. But your boyfriend's dad. How can you say you love Jamie? I do. Dad, he doesn't mean a thing to me. Well, neither can Jamie if you can do this to him. How long are you going to carry on like this? Till I get fed up. We can dump each other any time we like. Right. Well, it's only a matter of time till somebody else finds out. Why? Are you going to tell him? No. Even though it is the juiciest bit of gossip I've had in donkey's years. Understand it all now. <laughs> Why he was round here all the time. Have you not got a shred of conscience? Look, we didn't plan it like this, you know. We kept our hands off each other for months until one day we just couldn't stand it any longer. I don't care. Leanne, there is a fine line. You do not cross it. Says who? I might not get through them pearly gates, but even I wouldn't do what you're doing. I don't have to listen to this. I'm going. Well, somebody's got to say it. We're just having a laugh. Nobody needs to get hurt. End story, all right? Well, if you believe that, you'll believe anything. You live your life, I'll live mine. How was you? I've been trying to ring you for ages. Why have you had your mobile switched off? Oh, I've been uh, charging it up and I've been in and out of the office, love. Yeah, well, never mind that. We've got a disaster here. Why? What's happened? Washing machine's flooded. There's water everywhere. Can't you call the plumber? Yeah, he's on his way. All right. I won't be long. How much are you charging? 90 quid an hour. How much? But I couldn't find anyone else and you weren't around. All right, I'll be two minutes. Don't panic. All right. You are felt we lied? Yeah. Yeah, I rang about half an hour ago, 7 Coronation Street. Yeah, we've fixed it now. We don't need a plumber anymore. Thanks. Sorry. How do you know you can fix it? Well, I don't. But I'll tell you what, I've got to have a damn good try. And I you pounded out. Are you having a laugh? It'd be cheaper to get Rio Ferdinand in. Well, I tried some smaller ones. I just got answering machines. There's water everywhere. I was desperate. And then I saw this big ad and they answered straight away. Yeah, I bet they did, love. I've told you before, Frank, and I've shown you where to stop cookies. All you've got to do is turn the water off first. It ain't hard, babe. Well, stop getting at me, will you? It's not my fault it flooded. It's a man's job to fix this sort of thing. I didn't know where you was. I panicked. Oh, look, I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry. All right. I did the best I could. If you'd have been here... Yeah, I know. Come on. 
Come, Frank. What would I do without you, eh? <laughs> be a darn sight happy from what you've just been saying. Don't be daft. You're the only one for me. I'd fall apart if I didn't have you. Don't be silly. What's brought this on? I just take you for granted too much, don't I? I never know whether to believe you or not. I believe it. <laughs> Sweetheart. Right, I'll tell you what I'll do. You nip off up the pub, take this. I'll sort this out and I'll join you later. All right, babe, go on. I can help. There's all this mopping up to do, isn't there? Dad, don't worry about that. Go on, you've had enough hassle for one day. Go on, son. Go on, son. Go on, mate. What you having? I'll buy my own tie if it means I don't get any more lectures. I think you're playing with fire. But like you say, it's none of my business, so I'm not going to fall out with you about it. Life's too short. Now, what would you like? Right, I'll have a white wine there. Violet, love. White wine, please. Within a tick. Hmm. You've got to see the funny side of it, though, I suppose. <laughs> How many close shaves have you had? One or two. Makes it more exciting, I expect. Yeah, I can do. That was thin after a while. What were you just saying about it being none of your business? All right, then. I'll shut me gob. Better had now, wouldn't I? Evening, ladies. Hiya, love. All right. Jamie rang you. Yeah, spoke to him this morning. He sounded hard at it. I've just left Daddy fixing the washing machine. We go out on the razzle where they toil, eh? Treat them mean, keep them keen, that's what I say. Do sit down. So how's the new job, Liz? All right. As long as Diggory keeps his hands to himself. Mm, I heard he had wandering palms. It's his French stick you've got to watch out for. <laughs> <laughs> Is he married? He's on his own now. Mm, it's when they're married I can't understand it. Feed them well at home and they won't go looking for takeaways, eh? <laughs> She's obviously underestimated on a portion control. Hey, up. All right, girls? Yeah. Yeah, all done and dusted. What was it? Uh, blocked hose, simple. So you got it all fixed? Yeah, yeah. Washing's back in, floor's mopped up. You never know there'd been a problem. Just call him Superman. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> so are we going then or what? Oh, I just got settled. Stay and have a drink. Yeah, all right, go on then. What do you want, another one? We're on red wine. OK. Cheers. Right. Just fancy another. It's my round, isn't it? I think these will be on the house, don't you? Evening. All right. The ladies in the booth next to you. I'll have a pint of lager each, please. <laughs> I don't think they will somehow. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. Looks really happy tonight, don't you? Well, winning fact. Things must be working out really well between you. Hi there. And um, two pints as well, please, Miss Lee. Oh, thanks, Mr. Baldwin. It's really kind of you. Mmm. Good. Experience. <laughs> so, one more for the road, then, eh? Hmm? Oh, don't you think we've had enough, mate? Eh? Oh, come on, Dan. It's not like it's every night we get out, eh? What are you talking about? We was at the clock restaurant yesterday, weren't we? And I had to remortgage the factory to do that. <laughs> All right, I'll get them in then, Stingy. Stingy's got nothing to steal my money. All right, take it out of that 90 quid you saved on the plumber. <laughs> Come on, then. I'll help you carry it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the young Liz. <laughs> so, how many more people were you told? Say how it was you. No, but it made her suspicious, didn't it? Then she, she started snooping around, and that's how she caught us right at it. The old of Weatherfield are nobody end of the week. Don't worry, she won't say how. We might as well take an ad out in the Gazette. At least people will get the right story, yeah? Uh, hang on, she's not going to land me in it, is she? She's my mother. Stepmother, love. Remember, they're the evil ones in the stories who sell their kids down the river. Listen, she's just enjoying having one over on you. Stop worrying. Mm. I've missed out. More than a point, Lippy of I. Who you been gassing to in the car? Where are you going? Try me look at the fruit machine. Beats listening to this. Well, have you? Mwah. Don't come up with me, Lippy. You've been playing games all night, love, and I've just about had enough. You breathe a word to anyone and you're a brown bread, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And not only will you be out of a job, love, I'll make sure no one round here will ever touch you again. And don't think I ain't got the power. Cos I have. Understand? Yeah. When you put it like that, mum's the word. It better be an all. <laughs> <laughs>